the BBC and anybody affiliated with their series like Doctor Who are extremely woke and unapologetically so. And now, the new Doctor Who companion actress Millie Gibson is coming out and saying upcoming episodes of Doctor Who will attract a lot of Gen Z and feature many controversial elements. I have a few different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or via YouTube memberships. Now, every time I have to talk about Doctor Who, I get a little bit sad, right? Because even though Doctor Who for the past few years has been extremely bad just because of how progressive it is, um, it is unfortunate because I still have a lot of love and nostalgia for doctors like Capaldi and Matt Smith, such fantastic actors who really did a good job with what they were given. But now we have actresses like this boasting about how different Doctor Who is going to be and how they're changing this show from top to bottom. It says in continuing to break the already broken spirits of many a longtime fan who had hoped this new era may bring a narrative course correction to the Time Lord space time adventures, new Doctor Who companion actress Millie Gibson has teased that the show's upcoming episodes will not only attract a lot of Gen Z viewers but also feature a number of controversial elements that may lead fans to question the show's identity. Now, I mean, I, if it might not be obvious to a lot of you, I am a Gen Z audience member, and I have absolutely no interest in hearing co about content or watching content that is aimed towards Gen Z, because to me, when I think of Gen Z audiences, I, of course, think of the real-world events that are going on or that have happened that they want to address, things like hashtag me too. I don't want to hear about that in a show called Doctor Who, okay? I don't want to hear about social media, and I don't want to see all these, you know, body-positive messages about be who you want to be and don't let other people tell you you can't be that person. I'm an adult who wants to watch a show about a Time Lord, and when they're talking about Gen Z, that also means that they're trying to target younger audiences who don't watch Doctor Who. I don't expect a 13-year-old or a 15-year-old or even a 16-year-old to want to sit down and watch Doctor Who unless, of course, they do uh, like a lot of let's be honest, nerdier things, or they have a lot of nostalgia because their parents had watched this. But besides those two groups, it's not like you're going to get the average 15-year-old who's on TikTok to sit down and watch Doctor Who. Therefore, you're creating a situation where nobody is going to want to watch your series. And that means that instead of giving us entertainment, they're turning the show into social programming that follows along their specific political narratives, which is exactly what she really means when she says controversial topics. Even if there was a hope or prayer in the world, they'd be presenting different sides of those controversial topics she's referring to. Even then, they'd be moving the show from escapism and entertainment to some form of education, which isn't what I want from the show. Even even then, but knowing the track record of the BBC, we know the type of programming and what singular view on social issues they're going to give us, and it's not one that I agree with as a Gen Z. I think it's ridiculous that she's automatically assuming that all Gen Zers care about these issues and agree with the position the BBC is going to give us. Let's keep entertainment about escapism, and this is not escapism. I don't need to get information about social social issues agree or disagree from a time-traveling alien in a blue box. I'll do what I think normal people do, which is research the issues and not take these hack sci-fi writers' opinions and run with them. It says Gibson, who made her debut as the Doctor's latest par partner, Ruby Sunday, in the 20th 23 Christmas special, The Church on Ruby Road, otherwise known as the premiere episode of Got Was Run as the Hero, provided this tease to her time in the TARDIS during a December interview with UK News 
based outlet the independent i also recently had to talk in a video about how the bbc is facing some major major issues right now because of course womp 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 for them they are being accused by an organization that's done research of feeding their audiences a steady dose of woke bias but they came out and said that it isn't true the evidence is cherry-picked but then they've got actors admitting things like this Ruby has a relationship with the doctor that I don't think the audience has necessarily seen before. Uh, she has really humanized him and balances him to be more like her, really more innocent and pure and human, which is so beautiful to watch. There's a hidden secret secret with ruby that rolls throughout the whole series from there she claimed that her and his first series or season for american viewers would have an element of black mirror in it not so much at the start but it definitely grows darker then she further declared that the series uh, upcoming slew of Davies Helmed episodes will attract a lot of Gen Z as they go with the times and represent a lot of faces and themes that are really important to see on television. And we do not know exactly what that means, but like I mentioned, we can take a gander that they are going to be touching on real world issues. There might be some like Me Too references in the show. And it's just sad to see, right? Because I'm not watching Doctor Who to get these kinds of messages. I'm watching Doctor Who for episodes like in Matt Smith's run where they brought, uh, where they brought Van Gogh to the future to see his work and see how appreciated he was. Like, it's such a what-if situation, but it was such a respectful, heartfelt what-if situation. And they have doubled and tripled down on the woke, even though, of course, the BBC claims neutrality, even though they've shown a bias. I mean, the BBC is about as politically neutral as the current Disney company is, which makes sense because Disney gives them uh, money for Doctor Who now. And of course, the BBC has been woke for a very long time. The most notable situation I've talked about on the channel, besides Doctor Who, is the race swapped Anne Boleyn series they did, but they've even continued that with this show because Doctor Who casting director had responded to criticism of race swapped Isaac Newton. This right here is a good enough reason for me to not watch Doctor Who anymore. I do not want to see such important historical figures like Isaac Newton race swap. That's just not what anybody really wants. And instead of just accepting, hey, we made this move that people don't like, they doubled down and said, it's sad that we're in a time where people villainize minorities. You know, and of course, when it comes to the new God was series this is exactly what they're going to do they're going to call anybody who's criticizing it racist sexist this and that but the problem isn't that they've chosen a black doctor it's that they've chosen a black gender fluid queer time lord and they've admitted his full season will be focused on controversial topics like gender relevant discussions about movements that is woke that is the definition of what we are of what i sit and hear and and fight against i mean that is not what people want we've also heard doctor who lead uh say this series will definitely address his race featured featuring episodes inspired by the actor's very leftist liberal bubble. So they are not even afraid at this point to admit that it, they are going to divide audiences, that they wanted to be divisive with this series, that this was their focus. It wasn't to actually make quality content, but to have a platform in order to push their political leanings. It's just so sad to see because Doctor Who used to be great. There's so many people out there with so much love and nostalgia for Doctor Who, but it's decisions like this that are going to push your audience members away. I mean, for weeks now, since the Tenant special started airing, Rip Doctor Who and Cancel Doctor Who have virtually been consistently trending like people clearly are not happy with the direction they're taking it in and most people didn't think that it could get worse after Jodie Whittaker's run that they finally got rid of her they were finally choosing this new actor and 
from what we've heard uh, from, you know, inside sources, there were a lot of people who were really excited for this, you know, new doctor and for Davies to be around and for, you know, Tennant to basically hand the torch off. Like, there was a lot of excitement internally and, well, now we see that, yeah, there was excitement maybe internally, but that doesn't mean that fans were going to be excited because these people do not understand what fans want from this show or from anything uh, that is being created at this point. It says, in further uh, torpedoing the hopes of many a series fans who thought Davies' return would herald a return to form the alien hero, the newest actor to portray the Doctor, has teased that not only will his upcoming run address the character's regeneration into a new race, but that it will also feel feature an episode whose messaging explicitly leans into the actor's very leftist liberal bubble. I'm sorry, when you are an actor, you need to leave your politics at the door. But that must be why they ultimately hired him, because he wasn't going to fight back and say, I don't feel comfortable with doing this because, you know, this isn't what being an actor is all about. They are picking people specifically that are willing to, you know, uh, put the message or put their message into a piece of content. It's like when they hired the director for uh, the Marvels. She was someone who had virtually no experience, yet they handed her uh, a movie that cost $200 million to make and said, go for it. Not because they thought that she had the talent to create that movie or to make a product that people wanted to see, but because they could boss her around and say, hey, you need to put these references in it and these types of jokes in it. And this is why Doctor Who is dying. It is sad to see, but at the same time, I'm not really that surprised, especially after Jodie Whittaker's run. I mean, it will be interesting to see all of the backlash that's going to surround the upcoming season, but we are now hearing that they, the upcoming episodes will attract a lot of Gen Z, feature many controversial elements, which is exactly what nobody was asking for. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and, of course, found it important and informative, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And, of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.